Yeah, yeah. For, it's cool he'll never be able to fight. So you gotta find a different way for him to get qualify. Maybe that maybe it's more like a Ted Lindsay ad to you know. He doesn't really shy away from that stuff, does he? He's always in the traffic. Yeah, yeah, but never I've never seen him line a guy up like that though. Um, and uh, like it's not his in his nature to pound people and he's got this body that can do it. And uh, he just came up with that. That surprised our whole bench. It got everybody fired up, I can tell you that. Well, what's the deal with the monster these days? Is he just confident and relaxed in there? Not... Yeah, it's a process he's gone through over the couple years. He's not. He's been healthy the whole season. And uh, naturally, his confidence has grown uh, the way he's played. And uh, he had a great November. And um, we didn't play him much. In December, we were trying to get uh, James Reimer on top of his game, and now he's come in and uh, done done very well. He's handling pucks, he's confident, he's making key saves when we need him, and uh, I mean, he's playing really well. And he's not sort of letting in the so-called soft goals? No, no soft goals. I can't think of the last time he let a soft goal in, so it's going back away. So uh, that's a real positive development for us. Yeah, no, that's only two and three games, and um, it's also led to us being pretty good defensively too. We've got our sticks now playing defense the way you should, and um, we're building on it. So uh, I don't need to be saying so much. Um, before the game, uh, you, you mentioned some of these things, and during the game, the guys are doing all the talking, which is a uh, real positive that uh, they start to feel the momentum and that this stuff works, and they're feeling confident with it. How much of a ripple effect does a, a confident goaltender have on the rest of the group? Well, it's huge, and um, I saw what happened last year when James came in and started to play really well. All of a sudden, uh, we were scoring more goals. And uh, everything seemed to get fixed in a hurry. And I, you know, when you look around our league at uh, some of the other teams that are ahead of us in the standings, generally they're there um, in large part because of the solid goaltending they get. And you can't go anywhere with average or mediocre goaltending in this league. It's too close. Goaltenders make a difference. Ron David Seckle, uh, 13 and 2 in the faceoff circle. Boyce and Brown seem to be feeding off each other. Would you say that's the best? Fourth line, you Yes, probably, yeah, probably, yeah. And uh, well, Stex, when he gets in the in the groove, and for almost a month, he had a broken baby finger, where it was it was a bad shape, and he didn't win as many faceoffs as he's winning now. But he's over that, and having the other two guys who are relentless four checkers uh, certainly helps. Dion said that um, he feels that the team is very tight, and the guys want to come each other as a coach. How satisfying is that for you when it's 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 not you prodding these guys, it's the guys sitting beside them and the guys wanting to do it for each other. Well that's what we've been trying to create that sort of culture and it's taken us a while to get there. Um, and that's why we've made changes here along the way. If there's someone who doesn't contribute to that, uh, they, they they don't last long and, and now uh, you're starting to see just the confidence in our team and the relying on each other and get support from one another. And then, you know, my voice shouldn't be the loudest one in the room uh, right now. It should be the collective voice of the whole team. And at least for a week here, we've had that. It seemed like the compete level all the way through the lineup was here tonight. Yeah, well, I, I don't think anybody can ever say that our team hasn't competed. Um, there's been a game or two, but name a team in this league that doesn't throw a stinker out there once in a while, but we've competed hard all year, and the positive is, is we're getting as close to healthy as we can get. We still have, I guess you'd say, three regulars out of the lineup, but um, uh, we, we've got, uh, I can only imagine what we're going to be like in another couple of weeks when hopefully everybody gets back in place. It's going to be some tough decisions for all of us. Ryan Miller's uh, owned the Leafs during his career, but that hasn't been the case the last couple seasons. Have you guys found out something on him? No, no. I mean, we only scored two tonight. You know, in the past they would have scored three, and they beat us three to two, and you'd be raving over Ryan Miller again. So we found different ways to beat them. We've scored two or three on them and, and managed to keep the 
Sabres off the board. We're learning how to play uh, without the puck now, and we did that tonight. They didn't have, they had shots, so they didn't have very many quality scoring chances, a uh, couple towards the end, and not many in between. Ron, second year in a row that um, Gil Grabowski has really picked up into the winter months after starting slowly. I'm just wondering, is he doing anything differently? Do you find to flip the switch on, or it's just sort of a matter no, of him? I, I that thought he was pretty good all last year, and he struggled for a bit uh, early in the season, but he's been playing really well for the, for almost two months now.